Hi, my name's Simon Crompton. I'm a writer and journalist and the author of books like Best of British and The Finest Men's Row in the World. I'm also the founder of a website called Permanent Style, which is one of the biggest sites in the world for tailoring and craft-based menswear. I love working with small companies like Beg Scarves that put a lot of emphasis on craft and on new techniques as well, particularly. They produce some wonderful things like this nuanced washed scarf, which has some really lovely gradual transitions between colours because of the way it's made. I'm going to pick out some of my favourite scarves from their collection and give you some advice on how to wear them. This is a scarf I wear a lot. This is a, a lightweight cashmere, it's the wispy quality. And I often find that guys are a little put off by wearing lightweight scarves. They see a scarf as something they wear in the winter when it's cold to keep their neck warm. But actually, the really nice thing about uh, a lightweight cashmere like this is it goes really nicely underneath a jacket or tailoring, where if you had something which was uh, thicker, it'd be too bulky underneath the jacket. So I would kind of wear this scarf, for example, just loosely around the neck, pop it underneath the collar, and then button the, the front. And it just kind of follows the front edge of the jacket really nicely, accentuates the cut of the jacket, the tailoring. And then the other thing you can also do is just give it a quick knot halfway down, simple over and, over and under like that. And that's quite nice, it's a little bit more secure, it's not going to flap around quite so much, and also has the effect of kind of framing the tie as well if you want to kind of make the tie part of the style as well. I often like quite simple checks or patterns in scarves like this. When you're wearing a plain jacket, it's quite nice to give it a little, a little bit more interest around the neck, rather like you would do with a tie, except that obviously a scarf is bigger, there's more of it, so I tend to prefer not, not having bright colours or bright patterns. Now, a lot of people like wearing the kind of French loop around the neck where you just have one side and pull it through. That feels quite simple and quite secure, but it doesn't often sit very well with tailoring because it's quite asymmetric, doesn't really feel like it sits very well with the up and down kind of um, geometry of a jacket. So what you can do instead is take that loop, put one end through, and then twist the loop and put the other end through, and it gives you quite a nice plait effect on the front, which really fills out the front of a jacket. This is a very uh, luxurious feeling cashmere scarf. It has what's known as a, a ripple finish across the surface, which is achieved by um, combing the surface with uh, teasels, which are a dried plant head. So it's quite a, a natural way to kind of finish the scarf, but also feels and, and looks very luxurious. For that reason, I quite like it with overcoats, particularly like a cashmere overcoat, for example. And this is in very subtle two colors, in a white and a gray. Often you can get reversible scarves that are in kind of different colors, on both sides much more contrast. I quite like having two colors alongside each other, but I quite like it when it's subtle so that you wouldn't really notice that change and that variation in color until you were up close and really saw someone up close. I quite like wearing this with, with an overcoat where you can just do a simple up and under at the front, but make sure to pull one length quite high and then spread it out so it really fills uh, the gap in the overcoat and creates quite a dressy finish. This is a washed cashmere scarf and the, the washing gives it a slightly spongier handle and also a lot more texture, which for me makes it feel more casual and I tend to wear it therefore with denim or knitwear or more other casual items. And in terms of how to wear it, normally just loop it simply around the neck, often called a French loop. We put it round then pull the ends through. Or if you want something which is a bit more relaxed, you can just let it hang around the neck, loop one end behind, and then to stop this kind of flying away, just loop it through the front. 